Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Learning A Course in Miracles. I'm going to, um, my name's Jolene, hi. Um, lesson 153 is what we're on today. Uh, the, they're on pages 277 through 280 if you're following in a workbook. You can read the whole thing if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna summarize because it is um, rather long and daunting. So I'm gonna just give you my uh, reading here. And thank you for coming and I appreciate you guys. So here we go, lesson 153. Quote, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. Okay? So who those who feel threatened by this changing world, its twists of fortune and its bitter jests, its brief relationships and all the gifts it merely lends to take away again, attend this lesson well. The world provides no safety. It's rooted in attack and all its gifts are of seeming safety are illusionary deceptions. It attacks, then it attacks again. No peace of mind is possible where danger threatens us. So the world gives rise, but to defensiveness, right? So for threat brings anger and anger makes attack seem reasonable, honestly provoked and righteous in the name of self defense. Yet it's defensiveness, a double threat, right? So for it attests to weakness and sets up a system of defense that cannot work, right? Now are the weak still further undermined for there is treachery without and still a greater treachery within. The mind is now confused and knows not where to turn to find escape from its imaginings. It is as if a circle held it fast. Attack, defense, defense, attack becomes the circles of the hours and the days that bind the mind in heavy bands of like steel with the iron overlaying returning but to start again there seems to be no break nor ending in the ever tightening grip of this imprisonment upon your mind defenses defenses are the costliest of all the prices which the ego would exact in them lies madness the sense of threat the world encourages is so deep and far beyond the frenzy that we feel that we can't conceive how to get out of it. You become a slave. You know uh, not what to do and in fear of it. You do not understand how much you have been made to sacrifice, who feel this grip upon your heart. You can't realize what you have done to sabotage the holy peace of of your higher power, your, the God of your understanding by your defensiveness, right? So we, we understand that defenselessness, difference, defenselessness is strength, right? It testifies to recognition, the higher power working within you. Perhaps you will recall um, when we talked about this in the earlier lessons, defensiveness, <laughs> sorry, if this is confusing. Defensiveness is weakness. It proclaims that you have denied the higher power in you and you have fear and anger within your mind. So it's a childish game it becomes and for our true purpose is to save the world and um, that world, which is yours, the one that's around you. Um, not like we're going to be superpowers coming in and, you know, with our, <laughs> with our saving the world, but it's like one person at a time. We save ourselves so this we save the world. 
is the idea. We would not let our happiness slip by because a fragment of senseless dream happened to cross our minds. So we look past dreams today and recognize that we need no defense because we are created by our creator, right? Um, in, and we can also be still a moment and in silence. Think how holy is your purpose, how secure you rest, untouchable within its light. God is with you, if you ask. It is the function of God to help us, and God has elected to do that once we ask and we are connected to our higher power. So we pause for a moment more uh, to play um, a happy game upon this earth, and then we go to take our rightful place where truth abides and games become meaningless then. So the story we go. Today we practice in a form we will maintain for quite a while. We will begin each day by giving our attention to the daily thought as long as possible. Five minutes is great um, to do that, practicing um, to connect with your higher power. And um, in time with practice, you will never cease to think of your higher power and hear your higher power, the God of your understandings, loving voice guiding your footsteps into quiet ways where you will walk in true defenselessness where strength lies. So um, in summary, your practicing will now begin to take the earnestness of love to help you keep your mind from wandering from its intent. Be not afraid, be not timid. There can be no doubt that you will reach your final goal. These gifts are for, are for you and defenselessness, where your strength lies, is all you need to give your higher power in return. You lay aside, but what was never real, your fears to look upon this gift. And so it is. Lesson 153, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. And I will see you tomorrow.